Good morning. Welcome to Tiny Revolution. Uh, I am one third of Tiny Revolution, and uh, I'm going to be talking to you a bit today about how to uh, plan, prepare, and execute the exterior of your tiny house. Now, so far in our video series, we've talked about uh, putting on the radiant barrier, we've talked about planing wood, and so now we're going to talk about something that, in the process of building a tiny house, is often overlooked until the very end, and that is what the exterior of our tiny house is going to look like, or how to paint your tiny house. Um, so how did we do it? Well, I'll tell you the truth. The way we started out was uh, several months ago, we first decided what kind of texture do we want the outside to take? Do we want to use a siding? Do we want to use a substrate? Do we want to use a plywood product? Uh, do we want to even do something unorthodox, use vinyl siding or something of that nature? We ultimately decided on LP Smart Siding, which we want to thank our product sponsor, LP Building Materials, for joining us and providing that smart side to us. Uh, we decided on that material. It's got a nice weathered wooden texture look to it. Uh, and we decided that's going to give us the look we want. The aesthetic we decided on was kind of, um, kind of an aging farmhouse sort of deal. And so we decided, hey, let's build around that. So we decided on our exterior product. We're not doing siding. We're not going to do lap siding. Uh, we're not going to do any cedar treatment, anything like that. So we decided on the LP Smart side. From there, we decided, what about trim work? Well, trim work, we noticed that LP also had a smart side trim, so we decided let's keep the textures the same and let's go with that trim work. We then moved into the, uh, to, uh, the process of looking at windows and doors and such. We've decided on a standard window. Uh, it's white vinyl. Uh, it is a, uh, a new construction window. They're gliders, so they slide from side to side. And then we went with a standard scallop window door. Um, and I'll be showing those a little bit later as we approach installation of those. Um, so, we've got, uh, so we've got our material, uh, our roof, our roof. I want to uh, take time for just a second to, uh, to let everyone out there know that we have recently been joined by a new sponsor, Gulf Coast Supply and Manufacturing. They are a metal company out of Florida and Georgia, and they're joining Tiny Revolution. They'll be providing us with metal roof. Uh, we're going to be using a 16-inch standing seam metal roof in Galvalume. So we're very excited that they've come on board and, and we're excited to spread their message to the tiny house community and let folks know that if you're looking for a quality uh, metal roof product, they are definitely a one-stop shop. They've got excellent customer service that I've experienced. Um, they've also got some great how-to videos and they are a good name in the industry. So we're excited to have them. So after we decided on our, uh, on our exterior siding, we decided on our trim work, we decided on our windows and door, uh, we then went into what kind of roof again. So we contacted Gulf Coast Supply and we said, hey, can you send us some samples? So they did. We got a little package like this. It's nothing more than cardboard. Inside the cardboard, we got two wonderful samples, one of the Galvalum and then another of the weathered Galvalum. And uh, what we did was we took the paint samples that we've been collecting through the months, and you'll see these right here. Uh, we took these and we started comparing them with our, uh, with our metal roof. So we could kind of see what our look was going to be. Um, we've really been kind of leaning towards uh, a, a yellowish, uh, kind of sunshine yellow look for the outside of our house. Not so much for how it's going to look on day one, day two, day three, that sort of thing, but how it's going to look over time, how it's going to stand up to the elements and, and just to age. And so we've really settled on a color that we like a lot. Um, we compared it with our roof. We, we've uh, taken some other steps. And so where we're at right now is we're actually going to go down to the workshop and we are going to uh, put some paint onto the material, see how it kind of dries. Uh, we are going to lay down a, a coat of primer and then put the paint on. We're going to see how it dries, and then ultimately we're going to set it outside and let it sit for a couple of weeks and see how it holds up just to the everyday wear and tear. So that's what we're doing today. We're talking about how to, uh, how to design the exterior of your tiny house or how to paint your tiny house.
The first thing you want to do is you want to prime your material. We chose the Zenzer Bullseye 123 Primer for all surfaces for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's good for exterior. It's a water-based stain-killing primer sealer. It has low odor and it's easy to apply. It's a flexible acrylic formula that resists blistering and peeling, which is exactly what we needed for our LP Smart Side. If you're careful in choosing your primer and you choose a good exterior primer, then you're going to find that you don't have to do any more than one coat on your material. That's all we had to do, one coat, and we got a nice white base for our paint. The next step is to lay down your color. Now we chose to use a Valspar Duramex Exterior Satin Finish. It's a great paint with a wonderful color and because of that primer we're only going to have to put one layer of the paint on. Now I'm not going to tell you what color we've chosen quite yet. You can see the color but I don't want to tell you what it's called till much later on. But this is the yellow we're going with. We love the way it looks. It's going to add a sunshiny feel to our house and to our lives.